Hey, this is Digital Byte Computing. Today, we're gonna to go through the steps on how to connect to your ESXi 7.0 host using VMware Fusion on your Mac. But before we do that, please remember to subscribe and click on that notification bell to be kept up to date with all of my tech videos. Let's go through those steps right now. So my name is Emilio and I work in IT and I love it. And today we're looking at uh, VMware Fusion that you've got running on your Mac. Now we're running this on our my Mac, which is running Catalina. It doesn't matter what version you're running, a newer or an older version, that's fine. But you do need VMware Fusion to be able to do this. So if you don't have Fusion, go and download it. You can try it for free in my description. I've got links to be able to try it and to also buy it. So get that and uh, then we can connect into our ESXi host running 7.0. So we're assuming that you've got some sort of a server or a host in your environment, in, in work, in, in home, in your small business, wherever it may be, running ESXi 7.0. And uh, we're going to connect to that and manage that environment through Fusion. So let's go through those steps right now. Let's cross over to my Mac. I'm connected here via a browser, which is great. It gives me a lot of functionality, but you also have some cool features if you want to be able to integrate it into the one platform under VMware Fusion. So let's go ahead and open up VMware Fusion and you're presented with this window. This is an installation window to be able to go do a whole bunch of stuff. You can migrate your PC, you can install from bootcamp, you can create a new VM and a bunch of other things. Um, this is great, but this is not how you connect to it. So in the very top left-hand corner, we've got our taskbar in the finder and I'm gonna select file connect to server, okay? Now within here, I wanna put in the IP address of my ESXi host or the IP address of my vCenter environment, and then you'll incorporate that directly into your Fusion environment. So I'm doing this directly to my ESXi host. I know that this is my IP address. So you throw in your IP address or your um, host fully qualified name, um, if you do know what that is and it's configured correctly with DNS, or you put in your vCenter fully qualified name or your IP address. So I'm gonna put in my IP address of my host right here. My username and password, these will be the credentials that have enough permissions to be able to connect into. Uh, I'm gonna throw in my root credentials for my host and say connect. It'll then open up. And right here, you'll see that I'm now connected directly into my host, 192.168.2.100. I've got a couple of other VMs already built, but here I'm now inside. Now I don't have any virtual machines, otherwise you would see a whole list of virtual machines. Right from here I can create a new VM. I can do all this sort of stuff really the same as when I'm connected over a web browser. But this is a great way to be able to manage everything directly from VMware Fusion. If you have a whole bunch of VMs built uh, within Fusion, you've got Bootcamp and other things, this gives you the option to be able to directly go and manage VMs within your uh, ESXi environment as well. Very, very easy, very, very simple. And as I said, you can get VMware Fusion and ESXi 7. Uh, I've got links in my description if you do wanna go and download those and try them out and buy them if you need to. So there you have it. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, comment below, let me know your thoughts and if you were successful. And also remember, as always, subscribe, clicking on that notification bell to be kept up to date with all of my videos. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.